through Tulsa right now on our way to Wagner to get our new trailer for crew number dos. Crew number two. Yeah, baby. Cool guy right here. You know the cool guy emoji with the sunglasses. <clears throat> Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty stoked, guys. Look at my own, my own boss supply company gear. Own boss. I used, uh, I used the discount code Whistling Diesel, and I got like 45, 50 bucks off my order. How about that? Bam! I really like their stuff, and I like their little giveaways. I think those are pretty cool. Even though I, I never win them, and I don't have very good luck, never will win them, but who cares? I'm still gonna get in her to win with the chance to win a skid steer. But, you know, I'm, I'm gonna buy a skid steer. Anyways, I just thought it would be cool if I won one before I did buy one, you know? That'd be just money that I didn't, I wouldn't have to spend on one, you know? That's just smart thinking. But, anywho, anywho, since I haven't won one yet, we're just gonna end up buying one. Anyways, guys, we're almost to trailer number dos. Man, this Tundra drives like a, it drives so smooth. Papa did a hell of a job on this truck. So, say hi to YouTube. <laughs> really, for camera, for what? <laughs> oh, I'm because we're videoing the Tundra. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Hell of a job. Good job, Papa. Good job, you old man. Retirement's treating Papa good. We went out to Papa's to pick up this truck uh, and actually see it before we picked it up. About a week before we picked it up, and a lot of his, a lot of his heifers are having. Uh, baby cows, calves, his heifers having calves, which is good for him. He said there's probably like, what was it, like, wasn't there like eight or ten new uh, calves out there, babe? Something like that. Oh, I don't remember. Anyways, it, it, it was quite a bit, and uh, there's only one bull out there in that whole pasture. He's been getting busy. It's my turn uh, to contribute to the video today. Uh, what we're looking for is a tandem axle uh, trailer that's at least 16 feet long and 77 inches wide, which is about, I don't know, 6.4 feet or so across there. We just really need 3,500 pound axles uh, on the tandems uh, because we're gonna we're only planning on carrying three mowers and maybe some fertilizer equipment. On this trailer, skid, so we don't need anything. Here. It's probably what kind of trailer? Too I drastic. One of them. JT's talking about skid steers already, and there is the trailers. Uh, now here's I'm the, not gonna put it past them. Some more Longhorn trailers. I'll bet you. 
I'll bet you dollars to donuts he has that skid steer sooner than any of us uh, realize. He's really starting to take off with the business this year. Uh, last year he did too, uh, but this year he's really focusing on expansion. So this is why we're shopping for this second trailer. There it is. That's 77 by 18. That's that's a good size right there. That would that would meet our our needs. You'll notice we don't have we're not looking for either the mesh on the sides uh, like we have on our number one trailer because we're not going to be doing cleanups really with this Thank trailer. We do a lot of cleanups with our other trailer. Yep, this is it. We spent a little bit more for the taller side rails and the mesh uh, lining on our number one trailer because we use it for a 16 footer lawn work yeah, and we yeah. also use it for uh, cleanups it's leaf cleanups foot. tree cleanups we haul mm -hmm. all kinds of crap in that trailer and it's a lot easier to do when you got those mesh sides on it in front uh, so all the crap doesn't blow out uh, we just throw a tarp over it and we're good now uh, we're looking for a bulldog hitch and that's the bulldog hitch these are the things that we're looking for and JT also noticed here look look at these wires mm -hmm. he was telling me about this he said man I saw the trailer and it was the one that, that I went up to see, uh, but then I saw the wires and I was like, oh, that's sketchy. And I agree. If they cut corners there, where else do they cut corners, right? I mean, they're gonna cut corners, but you should not be cutting corners on safety stuff. <clears throat> like axles and turn signals and stuff like that. So, anyway. He went up to Wagner, Oklahoma, because we couldn't find any good deals down here in Oklahoma City. Uh, and he got this trailer. I'm going to go uh, buy let's a new tag trailer. along and watch him buy it. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. going to go buy a new trailer. Just bought our second trailer from B and C trailers fee and supply out here in Wagner Oklahoma what was your name again I'm Brian I'm young. Brian nice yeah, to meet you sweet this is Brian the owner helped me get a good get a good trailer he recommended one with brakes so I was probably about to make a mistake and get one with the, without but anyways it's a good deal ready to get going we got a two and a half hour drive back home. Not the total. Sweet. Next. Alrighty. Yeah. So I came for a $2,300 trailer. Ended up leaving with a $3,200 trailer. Good deal though damn nice trailer guys damn nice I like it walk it a lot To looking at that other one and I saw the the wires on it and they were yeah, they're not sealed or anything they're flimsy as hell yeah, and yeah they're 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 an inexpensive trailer yeah it, you could tell the yep it was already uh the wires were already starting to wear yep they're just they're just an it's been on the ground for a day well I, I appreciate that yeah I have to keep them you know I have to keep it yeah it's, keep one in a medium one and I keep one more high dollar than this even yeah this is, much, most, this is the most popular. This one is? Yeah. This manufacturer. What's the other one that's a little bit more than Top this one? Hat. Top hat? Yeah. How much are those ones? I uh, just another $800 for the same trailer. Same trailer. Because they're square pipe top. They're fully ground. Two coats of primer, two coats of cedar, two coats of color. So that's a... Alright, let's do a light check on it real quick. Alrighty. Right turn. Brake lights. 
Headlights. Headlights. Good. Sweet. Alright, let's get a fish one. Cool. Give me a thumbs up. Gotcha. Thanks, man. Man, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Would, go to you go to uh Google. Yes, sir. Leave a review. Please. Absolutely. Leave the world to me. Yes, appreciate sir. it, guys. Thanks for the See business. You. See you later, Brian. Thank you guys. So, we got a way nicer trailer than we thought we were going to get, didn't we? How do you feel about that? Well, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm excited to see it. I'll tell you what, we're going to stop at a gas station and I'll show you it. Uh, Brian with B&C uh, Trailer Services out here in Wagner, Oklahoma. It was a pleasure doing business with you, buddy. He was very helpful and honest. Uh, whenever I had questions about the tra the first trailer that I saw online that I was initially coming to buy, um, I realized that the, the, the wires were kind of flimsy on it. I realized that it wasn't the trailer that I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit better built than what it was, and it wasn't. And it also didn't have uh, trailer brakes, which isn't a deal breaker, but they are nice to have so um, anyways this trailer that we picked up it's it's very nice I really like it um, there was one other one that was a little bit like it that was probably uh, it was he said it was sealed twice and coated twice and all that primed twice and everything but it was 800 bucks more for pretty much the same exact trailer yeah, and we don't need it we don't need it to look super pretty so I'm happy with what we got it's hot. it is hot as hell in here uh, anyways stay tuned guys I can't wait to get get this trailer home and I can't wait to get all the, the new racks put on it yeah. stay tuned for that that's coming soon trailer racks baby yeah. trailer racks <laughs>